The feeling is like spiders. So on this photo shoot from America's Next Top Model, they dump a bunch of silkworms on the girls and say it's for the picture. So let's check it out, shall we? So you guys are going to be accessorized in the producer of silk. The silkworms. Oh. oh. Like really cruelly slivery. Oh, that's so gross. Okay, so someone was inspired by Fear Factor. Joe Rogan, is you going to come out? I'm gonna come out with like a box of cockroaches. So we're also adding the cockroaches in there. They didn't really make anything on the clothing. We just wanted to add them in there. We have them on every episode. We just had like a truckload of them. Just thought I would bring a box for you. I'm thinking, how's this gonna feel with like a hundred on me? It's just too much. Who is editing this? All I want to know is how are they, how are they going to incorporate these silkworms into this photo shoot? Are they going to be throwing them at the models? Are they going to put them on the clothing? What are, what are your guesses? Comment right now and let's try to figure out what they're going to do with these worms. Fashion is always pushing the limits and creating daring imagery. But I want you guys to take it <laughs> one step further. I really want to see the emotion in your face, in your eyes, not just the body language. They have a dusty box full of worms. He just opens it randomly. And they want that to, but then they have like this deeper meaning to the photo shoot. He's like, I really want to see the emotion come from within. Have you ever seen the movie Mulan? Now just think Mulan. My, will my reflection show who I am inside? Just think of, just sing that in your head with the worms, of course. I'm going to be dumping that on you. But again, it's about the emotion. And also the slimy worms <laughs> with the dirt on them in the box, in the dusty box. So basically, we're going to be in beautiful silk couture dresses. And I know I can do that. But then we've got the silk. They have like a truckload. It's like a whole warehouse, just a bunch of boxes. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the photo shoot, they're like, okay, now you have 20 seconds to eat all the silkworms. Your time starts now. And then Joe Rogan comes out. And then it's like the episode, the episode of Fear Factor starts. They're like, okay, now we're ending America's Next Top Model. And now we're into Fear Factor. Worms. <laughs> Okay, I have to get used to this because they're going to be like a million on me in a minute. Oh, gross. Oh, His name God. is Edwin. Don't squeeze him, he might die. Smile, Edwin, smile. Oh, smile. <laughs> you got these like, little faces that they just didn't eat me. Oh. The silkworms are just there existing. Everyone's like, you're disgusting. <laughs> I don't They're just trying to make a living for themselves. They have families to take care of. They have, they, they have to make silk. They're busy. I mean, look, the posing that the silkworm was doing, I'm not going to lie, it was pretty, it was pretty fire. That's actually all hand embroidered. So wow. wow. There's a lot going on in this shoot. The judges are always commenting, saying how I'm very commercial and, you know, smiley and, ah. I need to show them that there's other sides to me. Oh. Ready for me? As these silkworms are being placed. This is, oh, looks wow. so I'm ugly. Like Did someone try to put one down her top? What is the point? This looks terrible. Looks terrible. Now, they put the nice dresses on. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Oh, I'm so excited to see this photo shoot. And then they start like putting all these little silkworms. Just, they just look like maggots, to be honest. Like, who would know that? I'm, I'm not sophisticated at all. I don't know the difference. So from far away, it's looking like, you know, the trash cans. You leave them out too long. That's what it's looking like. They just picked them up from there. This poor guy spent like probably years and years designing all these dresses. Some of them were even handcrafted as he told us. And then they just look at this. They just put a bunch of worms on it. They're like, thank you for all your hard work. Now we're going to get some. Uh, we, we just dug these uh, worms up. We're going to just. Uh, is it okay if we just put them on your dress? Thank you. The feeling is like spiders. <laughs> I think we need a few more. This looks absolutely terrible. The worms are crawling up the dress. They're creating all these shadows and wrinkles. <laughs> it's, they're not adding anything. It's totally unnecessary. So, Elise, in terms of what I'm looking for for this emotion, I want to try and get a sense of what's going on behind your head. When Annalise first started giving emotion on set, it was a little too pantomime and not genuine. We have to piss. We're gonna see the shape. Yes. 
Good, 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 good. good. That's beautiful. But she took direction very well. Oh my God, you look like a statuette. Annalise, she worked the dress really well. I see a little bit of Helmut Newton, but then in a more sultry way. Okay, bye. Totally forgot those lines on me for a second. <laughs> Imagine being the photographer and they're like, yeah, you're going to be shooting silk couture dresses for America's Next Top Model. I'm probably so excited. And then you show up on set and they just start dumping. You're basically photographing the worms at that point. You could better start adding the credits on Instagram for the worms. I loved bugs. I used to have giant centipedes as pets and tarantulas. It's ticklish. I can touch them. They could go on my face. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> So Laura, what makes you feel powerful? Matt, just let her model. She's she's in the zone. Like he has to interrupt her. She's doing the cutest pose. Ooh. Oh my god, we already have the shot. Can we look how gorgeous that is? Yeah, yeah. Laura's You can tell the photographer's just like, man, I don't know why why did I accept this job? He's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. As photographers, we know when we're excited about a photo shoot or a shot, and I don't think this photographer is like, I did not sign up for this. You said it was going to be silk couture. Okay, no mention of the worms. Ooh. Since I was in the bottom two last week, it's really important for me to do well. I really have to redeem myself. Don't hunch over. It's almost like you're giving me old grandma with that booty. I think his performance today was in the middle of the road. I feel like you were giving me an emotion. I just... For me, I don't know what it is. He's low-key smiling and almost about to laugh as he's trying to be serious about this. But where's the emotion? Even he knows it's this is over the top. Like, it's too way too serious. You guys put... Look at this worm. Come on. Come on now. Even the worm's not taking it seriously. I just don't see what the... There's, like, no deeper meaning to this other than her just modeling in the dress. She looks good. The dress is cute. There's just much, not much more to that. I don't know. I'm just the type of person, like, I don't take things that seriously. Like, it's not that deep. As far as insects and gross things go, actually, the silk ones are quite cool. It's like a posh creature, you know? Don't pose into it. Be real with it. Good, good. Love that. Stay down there. It looks great. Beautiful. So cute. I know that she's got talent, charisma, and to me, she's definitely, like, my biggest competition. But I'm ready to kick her ass as well. This is America's next time off. Oh, that's beautiful. Man, you know if this were me, I'm photoshopping all the silkworms out, like in post, <laughs> post-production. Tara's going to get the picture. There's like no silkworms. Uh, so what happened was I actually took the liberty of uh, doing a little bit of healing, the healing brush tool and the patch tool and the clone stamp. I needed all those three in combination to remove all of this mess. But don't worry, sis, we got it. It's okay. Sophie did an amazing job. I love her posing. She's a great model, as always. She uh, she modeled with the silkworms. They were both in collaboration. It was like Sophie featuring the silkworms, featuring the dresses. <laughs> that poor, the designer who designed these dresses is probably like in the corner like, God damn it. What are you thinking, Catherine? Sad thoughts. Put yourself in a real situation. What would rip your heart out? Like if someone dies. Okay. I'm going to cry. Close your eyes. Go to that place. Is this like a therapy session? <laughs> it's not that deep. That's the thing. It's just a photo shoot. When they're trying to evoke this emotion, I really, I need you to let go to that place. Like who, you're at the place. It's called the photo shoot. You're in a room. There's the LED lights going. He's taking the pictures. Just, that's it. And there's nothing else to it. When Catherine was on set, I felt like she broke down. Don't pose, don't change anything and just open your eyes and look into the camera i potentially feel like she's got one of the best faces here and if she crumbles in the process then that makes it better for me because then i can shine over that i don't know there's just something that's not working like am i missing something i thought this was just for the dresses with the, with the worms and that's pretty much it mr j was really taking this way to he's kind of taking it and running with it and now he's in the Olympics. I mean, I don't know why it has to be this deep. Like, he's make the model was doing great. She's like, Catherine was posing, doing all these dynamic angles and everything. And then now she's crying? Why are you making the models cry on the photo shoot? For what's the purpose? I don't get it. 
Is it supposed to be a sad collection? I'm emotional really quickly. I think about sad thoughts. I just completely crumble. Just kind of hold your body like this. Catherine, even though she's delivering the emotion, her poses are so wooden and stiff. Okay, last frame. Okay, let's bring Catherine down. I really want to continue my streak of getting the best picture. So bad. So so bad. I need to be on my A game so I want to go be afraid of me. Oh my god, some of the worms were falling. Did you? One of them dropped. And it looked like from a high place, too. Is he okay? <laughs> I'm not sure of what you're doing. Okay. But I want to see a more raw emotion. Again. AKA, you need to start crying. <laughs> Still a little too posy. Really? Yeah. I'm really in the zone, man. I don't understand. You're in the zone. You're in the zone. Does that look like a zone to you? I really want the opportunity to work with Alicia again. I'm not so sure after today's performance I'm gonna have that chance. Shrug it off and let's really dig into that emotion. Alicia found it hard to give a real emotion without, you know, posing throughout every shot. Alicia can be a supermodel. It's just not coming together for her. She might be going. <laughs> She's literally doing amazing. I'm looking at her, I'm literally watching her pose. She's doing an incredible job. Even she was shocked that Mr. J was giving this feedback. Even she makes a mention and she's like, yeah, I was in the zone. He's like, no, you weren't there because I was also in the zone and I didn't see you. <laughs> it seems to me it's not even about the dresses or the silkworms. Now it's focused on bringing emotion, which is fine. But then is that the focus of the photo shoot? Because then why are you bringing in the worms with the dresses? Like there's just so much going on. And even the models seem confused by the direction given by Mr. J and the feedback. So I think that says it all. It does, it's not just one model who's like, oh, I'm not really sure what he means. It seems to be like a lot of them. So let's see the judging in the final photos. Are you ready to see your silk shot? Yes, I am. With the worms. Were they tickly? I love creepy crawly bugs. So I was like, you're a pirate. I am a pirate. Wow. Gorgeous image minus the silk worms. Who is going to look at this and be like, ah, oh, yes, the silkworm. Yeah, I did my thesis on that in college with, along with my PhD. I know exactly, that's exactly the silkworm right there. That's his left leg. That's his toenail. No one, no one's going to say that. We're just going to look at this and be like, whoa, what's on the dress? What is that stuff? It's not, it doesn't look nice. It doesn't add anything to the photo. It's far away. So if you are going to do something like this featuring the worms, maybe they could have done it beauty macro that would have been really nice if they're gonna go down this road i'm just saying if the silkworms are gonna be part of this have it be one of the focuses of the photo shoot they just get lost here the lighting is really nice you can see that there's the light source over here i love her pose love 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 her pose a plus the hair gets lost uh there's a bit of rim light here which we see a bit of the shape thanks to that but it does get lost a bit with this background, but otherwise beautiful image, minus the worms. I can't even believe this is you. I mean, why are we having you in white hair? Like you're giving girls with black hair a good name. And I have to say, this is the most amazing shot. I don't even notice that you have silkworms on you. It's unbelievable. Uh, you don't? Okay, well that just proves my point. There's, there was no reason to have them there. She's like, I didn't even notice them. It, it's as if they were unnecessary or they didn't need to be there. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> it just looks like a promo for a haunted house. Like, oh, you're not, might, you might have the bugs crawling all over you. Ebony is a beautiful girl. I don't like how they styled her. I don't know. I feel like she had better poses. I don't like the way that her leg is kind of standing out in this photo and kind of creating the shape here. I would have liked to have seen more of the dress. Her hand's kind of covering it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the silkworms? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Here's your best shot. Okay, all I see in this picture is darkness. Why is everything so dark? You had like 15 lights going. Can we just brighten it up a little? Like pop the shadows out in Lightroom a little so we can see more of this beautiful photo. I like the lighting on, on the models. It's just maybe the background could have been lit a little bit better. Everything kind of gets lost in it. And this pose, I feel like she did a lot of other poses. So it's really hard for me to judge, but I think this is like an okay shot. 
I don't like her hand being out like this. There's just so much going on with this, with the lighting, the worms, the dress, the props, the hair, the styling, all that. There's just a lot going on. I think you're so much better than this, Catherine. Yeah, I was actually very surprised because when you got up to the set, you totally froze. Um, like, uh, Mr. Day asked you to have a little bit of like a sadness to it, and I mean, you totally emoted, but it was like, you started bawling. You actually started crying? Yeah, he wanted me to get emotional. He said, what would make you emotional? Yeah. Okay. But I don't someone died, we do this? No, that's not, that was before I cried. That's at the beginning. You're like, tea? Yes. Would you like a tea? I'm selling tea. With emotion. It has to be very careful. I would really try to reference something like a broken heart versus a death. Okay, but the picture you guys are seeing, she just said was before he talked to her about um, the emotions. So why are you guys commenting on that when it's clearly not the emotional picture? They didn't choose the photo. Actually, that that's so interesting. They made her do all of that. He was asking her all these questions and trying to get the emotions out of her. And then they choose a picture from the beginning, like of her, like maybe like a test shot even in the beginning stages. Why do go through all that just to not choose a photo of her evoking the emotion that you spent so much time, time trying to get out of her? Does that make sense? What? Because it's tragedy like that, which is not an easy sell in the advertising world. Yeah, but you guys never saw the pictures of her being emotional. So why are you giving her critique on that when you didn't even see it? Catherine, girl, don't even listen to them, Catherine. Thank you. She, after all that, okay, thank you. <laughs> Again, what is this picture about? Is it about the dress? Is it about the worms? Or is it about the emotion? That's what I'm so confused about because you keep, like, if they do a good job showing the dress, then the, the judges say, oh, you're, it's not giving us enough emotion. And then if they give emotion, oh, but you're not showing the dress. So which is it? Which is it? Which one? I'm confused. Uh, I would have preferred her to turn her body more towards the camera to show a little bit more of the dress. So I, yeah, I mean, it's not my favorite pose. Plus her arm kind of gets lost in this also. And her body just seems kind of like blocky. Again, it's just one, there's no like shape to this photo. I like the top half of the photo, very, very stunning as a model. But um, if it's to sell the dress, I think the dress doesn't look good. See, I told you guys, they either say, oh, it's, if you got the emotion down, oh, you didn't sell the dress. But then if you, you show the dress, but you, but you didn't get the emotion. So it's like, you can't be right in the situation. You look like the girl who did get into the Supremes. <laughs> and you're not selling the dress for me. See? You I'm telling you. What you're wearing. Girls think modeling is about showing themselves. And that is the last thing. It's about selling product. <laughs> but what, okay, but you, you guys went on this whole tangent about the emotions. And that was the focus of Mr. J's feedback and instruction during the photo shoot. I didn't he really hear him say anything about showing off the dresses. Did you guys? Right? That's why I'm just so confused by this. Then I start to notice Mr. J says one thing on the photo shoot and then the girls get criticized for it by the judges during the judging. Hmm, interesting. Hello, guys. Hello. Here's your best shot. Wow, I think she has one of the best poses so far. I love how the light is hitting her face here. We get a little bit of that gel light. I just want to try to understand your hands on your head there. Um, was... My emotion, I was thinking he doesn't love me. And Jay kept saying, you know, you've walked in and you find him with another woman. And it was that emotion. <laughs> this is not a shot of, you know, of sadness. It's more like, he's talking what? about you don't love me. You don't love me? <laughs> you do not love me. Okay, but again, that was the focus of all of Mr. Jay's instruction during the actual photo shoot it doesn't really work for me i think the look is in, the, in your eyes is a little extreme I'm, or just not the right kind of look to actually sell a garment i feel like most of this feedback from the judges is directed towards mr j essentially because again he is the one who told them the models to be emotional have emotion be sad think of something said go to that place Wherever that place, I don't even know where that place is supposed to be, but they were supposed to go somewhere, I guess, other than the photo shoot. <laughs> I don't know. Your dress looks amazing, but I don't think it's amazing by how you're posing. It looks like actress, like, oh my God, I, I booked Vogue and I'm nervous. And it just feels like arms just kind of there as opposed to giving a little something that's a little interesting, a little odd, a little quirky. Okay, thank you. 
I love Sophie and I I just think that the feedback that was given to her during the photo shoot was wasn't good enough. I think the person responsible the culprit of all of this is Mr. J. It all leads back to him. He wanted them to cry. I'm just saying. We are paid to sell clothes, not to sell ourselves. Okay, but then Mr. J told her to be... Okay, that's fine. Less than it is on a hanger. But it's also the, the lighting was kind of in the photography. The timeless, iridescent Catherine. Okay. Who has done well in this competition. So she said stay. Oh, okay. So she did a good job. Okay. Your photo this week, just like the woman that you stand next to. You mean Alicia? You just... Can't say your name? Who stays in this competition? You should just keep everyone. Don't send anyone home. Alicia. I love them. Can I be friends with all you guys? Catherine, you're amazing. We love you. Mr. J told you one thing. The, ju the judges told you another. It is what it is. Why are we surprised? None of them commented on the silkworms <laughs> the whole time. But they did all of that. But I appreciated the silkworms. I appreciate you guys. Even though no one noticed you, I noticed you. Okay, see you guys.